is just sat in front of their, their bookshelf. Yes, yeah, now it looks, it can be deceiving. Here we have behind me a whole, uh, whole, um, uh, whole panoply of uh, knickknacks and an assortment of books, uh, memorabilia and miscellaneous items, but predominantly we are here to sell books and connect people with fantastic reads. Although, specifically, we have a focus on pop culture and gaming literature. Yes, yeah, so you're here, presumably, to, to try and find some, some new reads, some uh, interesting installments. That, that captures your fancy, um, well, to start off with, why don't you tell me a little bit what you're looking for, tell me about the sort of games that you like to play, what consoles, uh, any specific uh, genres or uh, sort of companies, even franchises, and then yeah, a little bit are you looking for a, a summer holiday a page turner or something uh, meaty to, to sink your teeth into? Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Cracking shells, yeah. Super. 
actually. Um, the, the, yeah, they're cool franchises. Zelda, Mario. Uh, he said, uh, was it Mario Sunshine is your favourite Mario game? Yes, very cultured, very wise. But this book is an absolute cracker, even just off the. And 
story kicks off. When the creator of the Oasis dies, leaving his entire fortune, the one person who can solve the riddles and collect the, the free keys. sort of obscured, uh, obscured within um, sort of retro references from the 70s and 80s, spanning video games, but also TV, movies and music. Um, oh, is it just 1980s? Yeah, 1980s pop culture. Um, and it follows a, a, you know, a lad who, uh, yeah, not very well off, and he, you know, meets some friends along the way on this adventure. But of course, there's always an evil corporation who are also trying to hunt down the treasure. So yeah, very much recommend that. That is a an absolute, an absolute cracker. This next book is isn't actually based on a game, but the game is based on the book. Uh, because I have here, uh, I think it's the second installment uh, of the Witcher franchise. The Witcher, the Witcher, the Witcher uh, franchise. familiar with the world of the Witcher through uh, the video game series by CD Projekt Red or uh, the, uh, the, the Netflix show uh, used, to, uh, used to star Henry Cavill um, but it's now um, now changing actually so we'll see how that goes but originally series of stories and short stories um, by, uh, I will absolutely butcher uh, the name, but the, um, the author Andrzej uh, Sapkowski. Sapkowski. And it's um, sort of set in a, uh, a mythical uh, sort of world based on sort of folklore and monsters from uh, Eastern European Our stories around um, you know, Polish, uh, Polish tales and that sort of region and it follows the, uh, I suppose the, the titular hero, the eponymous hero, the witcher Geralt, uh, Geralt of Rivia of intense training and potions. He has some sort of supernatural abilities and he goes around as a bit of a, a mercenary monster slayer. And he has a few friends along the way. There's magic, there's monsters. 
monsters, there's elves, dwarves, all that sort of fantastical, um, you know, brilliance, but these really the monsters and the creatures that uh, really make it a really great, um, really great read. Um, the games are fantastic, and I very much enjoy the, the Netflix show. Um, a lot of great combat. to play. 
play uh, to extreme limits with stories from you know across the across the globe. So, um, yeah, it's a, a series of tales uh, from the front line of virtual extremism, uh, from the New York surgeon attempting to break the Donkey Kong world record. The Minecraft player free is into an epic journey towards the edge of the game's fast virtual world, and the German hacker who risked prison to discover the secrets behind Half-Life 2. Uh, a bit of an expose into... of uh, video games is a, uh, as a hobby, and again similar, I find these books are often formatted quite, uh, quite, you know, fun. But it's a, it's a, an interesting, uh, an interesting relaxation, it's a collection of stories, um, which, uh, yeah, offer an interesting, offer an interesting insight. But yeah, based off your feedback, they're just some books uh, that I think you might be, you may be interested in uh, picking up today. Yeah, so from that list, which do you think? Okay. Okay, so you think Super Mario. Super Mario and Ready Player One. Yeah, nice bit of video game history and a, and a fun tale. Yeah, I like it. Okay, good. Choice, good chance. Well, um, I would uh, ring these up for you, um, but I don't actually have a um, a payment facility. So um, you know what? I'm just gonna just gonna give you them. So there you go, mate. Brilliant. Uh, well, uh, thank you very much for visiting my bookshelf bookstore. Um, yeah, please do, uh, do come again, leave us a review on Just Pilot, that would be very kind. Uh, but, uh, yeah, with that being said, have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you very much. Goodbye now.